Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin has now dropped out of the channel to the downside. That is a warning sign, absolutely a warning sign for the bullish scenario and it has reached the area below 21.6k. So we've dropped below the 50% FIP retracement as well. Something where I told you that is probably going to happen anyway, yeah, based on the ideal target for wave Y. So in the end, at the moment, it's not doing anything different to what I told you. Um, explain to you that an ideal target for the completion of this W, X, Y pattern would be either here, the 50% FIB retracement at 21.6, but I told you that for that, the wave C is probably a bit too short, which the last wave coming down here, and um, that this is probably not going to be enough. Next one would be the 20 point, well, yeah, 20,980 level. That is exactly the level that was reached. And below that, another ideal target would be the um, here the uh, $20,700 level. That has not been reached yet. That was the e equality target of wave W, which is this one, and wave Y. Uh, you can see that here, 20,700. That's the one-to-one -one ratio of these waves. And oftentimes you find that the Y wave is as long as the W wave. And therefore, this was the ideal target for this movement. What is not so good is that we dropped out of this corrective channel to the downside. Now, from an Elliott wave point of view, that is not necessarily a problem because uh, you put a little bit less emphasis on trend lines. Nevertheless, um, has it, it does have a certain impact. <laughs> But um, it could really be that here at 20,700, we are reversing to the upside. So at the moment, we do not see any evidence that this wave C here is complete. And also not, obviously the wave C is part of the wave Y. So what now needs to happen, we need to look for bias around this area here. This is certainly a good chance here to complete this corrective wave pattern A, B, C. Oh, here, W, X, Y. Yeah, so it was probably the correct wave pattern that I showed you here um, when we first put it on the chart. And so far it's been working out. The wave B was weak, yeah, but um, nothing that um, would be surprising. Yeah, so I talked here yesterday already about wave B could be complete here, but I wouldn't think it is yet. We then had another move up, nice three wave move. It didn't unfortunately touch the resistance area here. Um, yeah, and then we came down. But the, the question is now, where is this finished? At the moment, I can't see any evidence that this is finished. The first good indication that this wave C is finished would be, in my opinion, a move back above 21.6K. Yeah, that is the 50% um, Fibonacci retracement. And that would be above this red box. We need to get above it. Um, and for now, obviously, yeah, we are still here in a downtrend, in a temporary downtrend within a larger uptrend, okay? So um, waiting basically for the buyers to come in yet, yeah? And that if you see some strong buy signals, if you see the price go back above the 21.6K level, that would be a good indication this is finished. Next good indication that wave C here is finished would be a move above the wave B high that is basically at 20, 22,250. From then, I would primarily still expect a wave three target to be reached up here. Yeah, first maybe around the 25, 26,000 area and then 29 to 30,000. So this is where we currently are. Yeah, um, should make, well, should at least be clear. And however, I told you that this is currently obviously the bullish scenario, I showed you the bearish one yesterday. In the bullish scenario and the bearish one, doesn't matter. But any move, if Bitcoin moves below 19,500, the bearish scenario will get much more into the focus. Yeah. Even now that we dropped below 21.6K, the bearish scenario is getting a little bit more into the focus. But below 19,500, we have to be much more on the lookout for another price drop below 17,500. That is just a very a technical level. Yeah. We don't want to just make you know, pure assumptions, we always want to wait for price confirmation. And that for me would be a price level that if we get below that substantially, 
that means like we retest it from below, you know, and we can't get above it easily anymore, then I think we're gonna see another price drop below 17,500. Explained it yesterday to you and explained that we could in that case even go down in an extreme case into the area around 11k. Now that would be an extreme case, that would be the 88.7% FIP level for Bitcoin. However, if we go below that level first, I would first primarily expect the 78.6% FIP level at 16.9k and then around 14 to 15,000. And if we lose this area as well, we're probably going to see the 88.7% FIP level at 10 to 11k. Now, that would be an amazing buy opportunity, but also uh, I find it quite unlikely to get really down to this extreme price level. So at the moment, I still expect the overall correction is finished, but this is not high confidence. As I said before, it's like 60% probability, and that is purely based on technical levels. So as long as we stay above 19,500, we can remain focused on higher prices. And until then, we can also ex um, allow this wave two to finish, uh, to go lower. Yeah? So should we lose, should we lose the, seven, the 20, thousand seven hundred dollar level what would be the next level we need to be on the lookout for well you've got the twenty thousand eighty dollar level the seventy eight point six percent fib level and then the nineteen thousand five hundred dollar level the eighty eight point seven so these are the two levels if we go below that as i said it's probably not going to work out anymore as an impulse to the upside okay and that is currently here my view about bitcoin so hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.